What's going on guys? How's everyone doing? In today's video, I'm going to show you guys how to trick your iPhone out. Here's how to install iPad OS on iPhone. With Nugget, you can do some seriously awesome stuff and trick your iPhone out. I've made a few other videos about Nugget, so if you're curious about what other amazing things you can do, go ahead and check those videos out. In today's video though, we'll be focusing on installing iPadOS on your iPhone. This feature looks even better with a case from today's sponsor, ESR. I'll tell you more about them in a little bit. Let's talk about device requirements in order to use this. You'll need an iPhone on at least iOS 17.0 or later. This only works up to iOS 26.1, as iOS 26.2 patched this from working. It will not work beyond iOS 26.1 unless something else is found. You'll also need a computer. You can use Mac, Windows, and Linux, and the process is fairly similar on whatever OS you're using. Today, I'm gonna use Mac for this guide. Although this will get more and more stable over time, modifying something like Mobile Gistall is risky. More things can go wrong, such as boot loops and other things, so please, before proceeding, please make a backup of your device. Make sure you follow along here, because the last thing you wanna do is go modifying something like Mobile Gistall without knowing what you're doing. If you want to, you can even mess around with this on an old phone that you have laying around and not your main device. And although I'll show it in today's video, Stage Manager apparently has caused some issues, so just be aware of that. With that being said though, let's get started. If you're on Mac, download Nugget for Mac OS. If you have a newer Mac that's made after 2020, you'll likely have an M ARM-based Mac. If it's older than that, it's most likely Intel. Download it for your compatible Mac. Open the .dmg you downloaded, and once it's mounted, move Nugget over to the Applications folder. Make sure Find My iPhone is turned off in Settings. Don't worry, you can turn it back on after this process. Now just go ahead and open Nugget, and then from here you should be good to go. Connecting the device. After you plug your device into your computer, you may need to trust it and click the reload button in Nugget. Then your device will show up. When applying customizations to your device, do not unplug it while it's applying. You will boot loop your device if you don't let Nugget do its thing. Now on your device, download the Apple Books app if you don't already have it. Also, download Shortcuts if you don't already have it as well. These are default apps that come on your iPhone, so you should have them unless you deleted them. Getting the mobile Gestalt file. Open the shortcut that's in the description down below. Now go ahead and add the shortcut to your Shortcuts app. Finding the mobile Gestalt file might be a little bit confusing, but this shortcut will walk us through it. When this pops up, tap Allow. Now the Freeform app will open and the shortcut will guide us through the rest of this process. Go ahead and click the paperclip icon that you see and then tap Add Link. From there, you can paste the link in that box and then tap on insert. You should now see an image of that file show up. Go ahead and tap on that image and then select the eye icon. If you did everything right, you should now see your mobile Gestalt file. You can email this to yourself or if you have a Mac, you can airdrop it over. Being able to change this file leads to some pretty awesome things. However, keep in mind here that the mobile Gestalt file that the device generates is device specific. Meaning if you wanna do this on a different device, you'll have to go through this process on the other device as well. And each time you wanna add a feature or remove a feature, you'll need to have this mobile Gistop file. So make sure you have this file saved, ready to go for when you need it. I also got stuck here on some of my older devices. I tried to use an iPhone 13 and save the mobile Gistop file, but for whatever reason, it just was not working. And there's even an alternative shortcut that I'll link down below in the description. And I tried that one too, and I could not get that one working either. So if you can't save the file for whatever reason as well, just keep trying trying and hopefully the reliability of this will get better in the future. Back on our computer now, make sure your device is still plugged in and go to the mobile Gistalt tab in Nugget. There are a bunch of options here, ranging from enabling Dynamic Island on older devices to enabling iPad OS. Soon, I'll make an updated beginner's guide to go over all of the various different mobile Gistalt options. For now though, in this video, we're gonna focus on getting iPad OS on your iPhone. Check the box that says Enable iPad OS. Now click the Apply section and choose the mobile Gistop file that we just saved. You may see this pop up. This is just a bug right now. You can go ahead and press OK. Now, once you have the mobile Gistop file selected, when you're ready, go ahead and click the Apply Changes button. 
It'll ask for your computer's password. Go ahead and input that in the window here and then click OK. The device will now automatically open the Apple Books app and you'll have to download a book and open it to continue. And you can scroll through here and pick any book you want. If Audible was sponsoring today's video, this would be the perfect segue for their ad. But you're here to trick your iPhone out, not read a book. And you can't do that without the guys over at ESR. If you're gonna trick your iPhone out with iPad OS, you deserve a brand new case to go with it. Not only do they have phone cases though, but they have way more. These guys are one of the top MagSafe accessory brands. And because of that, their cases and chargers are next level. For example, for my iPhone 17 Pro Max, I've been using their classic hybrid magnetic case as well as their CyberTough magnetic case. Both cases have a nice convenient kickstand that flips out near the camera so you can use it like a stand. If something more rugged is your vibe, check out the CyberTough magnetic case. Both cases feel durable and premium. And that's thanks to ESR's military grade protection. The camera control button also works through the case as well. With a new phone, you'll need a screen protector. ESR's Amorite screen protectors are fantastic. It's super durable, providing seven times the impact absorption of generic screen protectors and it's scratch resistant. If you need a wireless charger, check out the CryoBoost 3-in-1 wireless charger. It charges your iPhone, Apple Watch, and AirPods at the same time. With 25 watt output and air cooling technology, it charges your devices faster and safer. This is compatible with any device that is MagSafe compatible, so something like my 17.0 12 Pro Max will work just fine with this. And yes, this is Nathan LR. Pretty cool, right? But it works even better on an iPhone 15 and newer as you can take advantage of the new Qi 2.2 charging speeds. And yes, this charger is Qi 2.2 certified. When you wirelessly charge your devices, they may run a little bit hot. That's why I love this wireless charger because there's actually a built-in fan that will cool the temperatures of your device is down. Not only that, but check this out. The watch part of the charger is removable, so you can actually take this on the go with you and charge up your Apple Watch on the go. And that just comes with this wireless charger, which is really cool. And last but not least, if you have an iPad, you're going to love this one. The Rebound 360 magnetic case for your iPad looks really good. It's durable and it's reliable. The key travel of the keyboard keys even feels really good, and that's difficult to do for whatever reason for most brands. If you use an iPad in your day-to-day -day workflow, this is a must-have. There's a MagSafe-enabled case that comes included with this, and you just snap it on top of the keyboard, and then it becomes the keyboard case. So if you like the keyboard case, but it's a little too bulky sometimes, you can just take it off, and then when you want to have the keyboard, you just put it back on. It doesn't go all the way back, but it can tilt forward and backward, so that's great depending on your workflow. And just like a laptop, you can close it and bring it on the go with you. If you want to pick up a MagSafe case or an accessory for your iPhone, you can get 25% off your purchase with the discount code at checkout, just in time for Black Friday and Cyber Monday. Special thanks to ESR for sponsoring today's video. Let's get back into it. So I'm gonna select this book and I'm gonna tap on sample. You can also get a completely free book as well. It does not matter. Once you open the book, it should run the exploit and then eventually it should restart your device. And now after the device restarts, you can see it looks a little bit different. If you get this pop-up, don't worry, that means that it succeeded. You can just go ahead and press done. And here's the best part. Now your device thinks it's an iPad. So years after that landscape home screen was removed, we can do it again. Even things like the iPad OS spotlight view, that's here too and that's pretty cool. I think the results look pretty awesome here, especially on the Pro Max models. And as long as you're on iOS 26, the menu bar at the top comes over just like an iPad OS 26. I think that paired with being able to run multiple apps side by side looks awesome. And not only does this work in landscape, it also works in portrait mode too. So put your iPhone vertically or horizontally, it doesn't matter, you can still use this amazing multitasking feature. So while yes, this is really awesome, I don't know that I would use this every day, and here's just one of the reasons why. If you try using the spotlight search, you can see there is no spacebar anymore on your keyboard. Maybe one day that might be fixable, but right now I think that has to do with the iPhone thinking it's an iPad and the resolution changes and all that stuff. So whether you're trying to use that vertically 
vertically or horizontally, it still doesn't work properly. And again, even though Stage Manager on iPhone is awesome, it could lead to some stability issues and boot loops. So you may not always wanna have this on your iPhone removing iPad OS. So if you do wanna get rid of iPad OS and make your phone normal again, go back to Nugget Desktop and make sure you click the Remove Tweaks button. You can go in and select what specific pages you would like to reset. So I can check Mobile Gistall and then click OK. And again, I just type in my max password then click OK, and from there, it'll rerun the exploit and remove the tweak off of your device. So now the device will restart, those changes have been reverted, and your iPhone is back to normal. Anyway guys, that's pretty much going to do it for today's video. That's how to install iPad OS on your iPhone. If you enjoyed today's video and it helped you at all, please hit that like button. Want to stay up to date with everything about customizing your iPhone? Make sure to hit that subscribe button down below. Also, turn on that bell icon so you never miss out on a brand new upload. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good one, guys. Peace.